the next video. Um, well, uh, excuse the appearance. We having a heat wave in UK. So it's like 30 degrees outside. Uh, it was yesterday on Saturday and today is Sunday. Um, my room feels like there's like 45 degrees. I'm not even joking. Like I'm melting. I literally just turned my fan off to film this uh, intro and this video. So as you saw last week, I had a really, really shitty week. I felt really depressed. And I have to say, seeing that video back, when I edited it and then saw it, I was like, shit, girl. Like, you haven't been this bad for a long, long time. I think last time I was like this was probably in lockdown when I lived in Folkestone. And I felt really, really isolated. So, obviously, what I always do when I feel like shit, I do retail, uh, retail therapy. That's what I do. I love to spend my money, which I'm really hardly no hardly which i'm saving really hard for traveling etc but this time i was like you know what fuck it i just need a distraction and instead of buying clothes which i do normally i decided to spruce my room because i realized if i feel better in my surroundings then obviously i will feel less depressed and with my luck there was a sale in Ikea, so I got a few bits and bobs. Then I went to Primark to get some like posters, etc. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I changed my room. So first you're gonna see basically the, the before, and then obviously I'll show you after what I changed. And then we kind of have a chat about how much it cost, what I'm still planning to do, and kind of what is my plan to go forward. So as you see, this is literally my room. This is it. That's my stuff. And also I can't do much with it. So here I already put the poster because I wanted to see how big it is and if it's a good size, good fit, and it's going to stay there. But yeah, gonna update all this. Got new beddings, got new decorations. I'm gonna get rid of, of these curtains. They're gonna be posted there as well. We're gonna do something on this bit that is not empty. We're gonna put some bits in here and the new carpet. And then I think next month I will get a new monitor. And then think for desk, get it more organized, etc. Just get rid of this mess. And here I'm thinking, you know, maybe do like a new TV, move that mirror maybe a bit up. We'll see, or get like a brand new mirror. I don't know, I don't know, but we're gonna do some changes. Right, so I would start with this carpet. I think this one was like tenner from IKEA. I don't know if you remember, but there was like a stains on the carpet. They've been here from the previous tenant. So I just decided to get this rug and cover it. I think it's like, it looks, it looks all right. So that was like a first improvement. Then I cleared up the desk. I got these lovely fake tulips. They actually look quite real to be fair. And the reason for those, even though I buy, I love to buy fresh flowers. I was like, do you know what, if I'm going to get this one, it's just going to be there, I don't need to worry. It's always going to look pretty. So that was that, I think it was like five pounds. Then I finally, finally, finally put something on these bare walls. So these four tiny cards, again, I can't read measurements. I thought it's going to be a bit bigger, but it's not. So I think it was like 50p for these four. This one is a postcard which I sent myself from Seoul from Namsam Tower when I was in Korea. Then I got this poster margarita which is very fitting because my favourite cocktail ever is margarita. Prefer frozen but it's quite difficult to find in London so margarita normal it is. And this was actually £1.50 in Primark and the wooden like frame was £3.50 again from Primark. Then I finally put these two. I think I'm gonna change the poster because it's very beaten up. As you can see before, I had it on this wall, but it was constantly falling because I didn't use a proper 
proper hanging hanging bits like i put it on there on blue tags and now i have it like on command strips and then i use this organizer so here i have my sunglasses i think here i have a chewing gum and then this one is empty so i will figure out kind of what i will do and lastly i kind of clear up my desk as well so at the moment i have here my mac which i'm switching between my work laptop keyboard and mouse then i got this mouse pad again when i was in seoul this one i think i got when i was in uh, lotte tower so it's quite it's quite cute so you can see yeah seoul sky and then you see all the bits and bobs from Seoul so I got that one that I have a constant reminder of Seoul because I love the city then I have a pencil case again I got this one in Korea this is kind of like the oh, I forgot the name but this is traditional Korean kind of decoration then here I have all my bits for my MacBook like and filming so I think I have like memory cards batteries all the cables etc etc and my journaling uh, book where I'm putting like the quotes I found, etc. Then my water bottle. This one is new one, got it from my sister. And then monitor. What I'm planning to do actually with this area as well. This is still mess because... So the reason why I didn't really tidy up my desk properly is because I'm going to be getting a new desk. I spoke to my landlady. I told her that this desk anyways is very low for me. Even the chair is not comfy anymore. And I realized I'm slouching a lot and my back is hurting. My shoulder is hurting and yeah, it just doesn't work for me anymore. So I think she's now out of UK till like 3rd of July, if I remember correctly. So then she's going to take it away and I'm going to probably order from Ikea a new desk, set of drawers and chair. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm planning to get a new monitor as well. I'm now trying to figure out if I can get like a voucher from work and I can add my money or if I'm just going to pay it all. We'll see because this monitor I have is from my job through COVID. So they didn't want it back and it's just too dark. It's too dark. I don't like how it looks like. So I just want something silver or white, you know, sleek, thin and nice. So yeah, that's the plan for uh, working from home setup. And now we're moving to bed. So I've got a new bedding. It doesn't really show properly on the camera. It's like more yellowish in real life. And I got the new decorative pillow. Also, this one is uh, plushy, plushy or soft toy, which I got in Seoul. So it's the cacao friend bear. I adore it so I just got it as a souvenir and yeah I'm 30 almost 31 and I sleep with cuddly toy but that's fine then as you can see here I have still my uh, light curtain which works which is good and then here I'll just put a poster again this one is from so you can't really see because it's getting dark now but I got again this one in Primark for one pound fifty with three fifty for the frame, and then here, if you remember, I had the kind of horrendous blue curtains, so I took them off and I just bought this from IKEA. I think it was like four pound fifty for it, something like that. I finally clear everything here. I still have my two gin glasses because I don't know really where to put it. And there's not much uh, storage in the kitchen, so I'm just probably going to keep it there because it's quite hidden and you can't really see it. Then again, clear this bit and I put this little basket there where I have my current book and Kindle. With this area, I haven't done much, so it's just here. I need to figure out a system, how I will store everything. Ideally, I would like to have something which I can put on top which is like a drawers and then I can obviously hide all my skincare, perfumes, hair bits, everything. I'm also thinking to change this mirror. So I found, I think in Asda, they have like this nice oval mirror with like really thin black frame around. So I think I'm going to do that and kind of move it higher as well, if possible. And then my TV again, 
thinking to get a new one. Do I really need it? No, but would that looks better? It definitely it will, so we'll see. So yeah, this wasn't still kind of in progress. And then I got the new candle, which is tropical cocktail from Aldi. So get like that summer, summer smell. Then here I'm still keeping my uh, towels and everything because I don't know really where to store them. I'm planning to change this mirror as well to more like nicer. Again, as you can see, this is very bare, but this is just a start. So, you know, I will be looking for more kind of art, which I can stick in there, more posters or more postcards. We'll see. There is my ugly fan bar. Honestly, it's the best thing at the moment. And then I think I showed you before I upgrade my washing basket. And then I clear all this as well. So I have two jackets. This is my uh, gyms for hoodie, my gym bag, my normal bags, and then obviously my dressing gown. And here, I didn't do much as well. So this is like, I just changed the sheet. So I just need to wash it with the blanket. And I got this basket. I think it was three fifty from Primark. And then obviously I have here my supplements, etc and my toothbrush toothpaste which i'm keeping in my room because again not much storage in the bathroom and that is essentially it and lastly i upgraded the main point light or whatever you call it so it was like really i think it was like gray or beige basic uh lampshade is that how you call it i don't even know so i got like this basic one i think it was two pounds for ikea I'm gonna try to link everything I can in links uh, below in the description that you can check it if you like anything from here. And yes, so this is basically the whole little mini makeover of my bedroom. I have to say, I feel much more calm and zen because it's like, it's in the colors I like. I like now yellows, greens, obviously white, I feel like the blue here um, just didn't work for me, even though it was only on curtains. But that's kind of the first thing when you walk in the room, you can see also kind of like the clutter, everything really helped. And yeah, I just feel much better. Also, I I feel very lucky because last week I met with my manager for my previous uh previous company that work I can now fairly say that we become friends and you know talking to him about like how I feel the struggles etc because he knew before like when I work in that company that I've been getting slightly depressed and we talk fully openly about everything and he shared as well that he's feeling depressed so it was kind of nice to see and hear that I'm not struggling myself if that makes sense so we just chat about everything also i haven't seen him since i came back from korea so uh i showed him all the pictures and we talk about it and we also talk about my current work what, what what's kind of happening there what's the situation etc and it was nice to get like you know advice and support and stuff like that so that helped me a lot so i can recommend if you if you struggle talk to someone you can actually trust and who's open-minded or kind of had a similar thing in the past i'm thinking what else um i start going for walks so now and then i go for walk which is a massive progress or i have a little kind of dance party because i realized i love dancing and i haven't been dancing in my room for a long long time and that always boosts my mood so i've been doing that what else um what else what else what else um yes yeah, so i haven't been in gym still having little anxiety to go back in but uh, i'm gonna try next week so that's my goal to do that so you know we're gonna take small steps and try to make myself better and then i decided to do my own nails so i purchased all the bits for doing my nails at home tried it for the first time it's actually worked okay it took me three hours but you know, I did that on Friday, so instead of being depressed because it's Friday, I'm not out. I actually spent three hours of doing my nails. And lastly, I found a free 
Korean course on Coursera, so I enrolled. I did only one session today, uh, not today, this week. I kind of committed to do three a week, failed, but you know, it's okay. I can do it, you know, with my own progress, etc. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight. And yeah, doing, you know, baby steps, trying to keep myself busy, trying to think positive. It helps, obviously, there are still some times when I fell down and, you know, had a little cry felt sorry for myself, you know, stuff like this, but I feel like I'm in a in a good space. Definitely this week was good. I was I felt distracted as well with this little makeover. So we'll see how it's gonna go next week. And because I finally have now new nice background, so next video I promise will be how much how much I spend in Korea what I did in Korea and what I can recommend, what I don't recommend, etc. So we can literally be looking forward to that video finally. And now I'm just gonna do meal prep for a week. Then I will do my course and probably watch Netflix. Ooh, I have to say as well what I did. I did lots of reading this week. Again, reading makes me happy. I finished another book, which is nice. And I'm halfway for next one. So that was really good. And uh, yesterday I kind of binge watch, which is fine because, you know, it was hot, really hot. So I read on a balcony during the day, tried to get a bit of 10, didn't really got any. And then I've been binge watching, binge watching Netflix and I watched this Korean drama, Bloodhounds. I can highly recommend if you like, kind of like really dark, lots of like kind of blood, you know, Lots of plot twists then i can highly recommend so yeah that's it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe and i see you next monday bye